Jimmy Neutron brain blast moment. I was like, wait a minute, I have an old account on YouTube from 2007 that I forgot about called Dumbledore Freak, and there's two videos on there. This one and one of my stats using like Gold Recorder 2, so it's really, really poor, but this is the Duel Arena in January of 2008, so pretty much right around when the save for Old School was made, which was like the around October. But yeah, it's kind of funny to see what people would do in the Duel Arena back in the day. It wasn't all about real-world trading and stuff. There was actually more going on than just that. Prime example being, look at all the people saying, funding all my levels, staking my levels, no rules. That's a little crazy. Owning peers, that was always fun because you, you wanted to fight people with one defense so you could see what you could hit. I know it's nostalgia talking a lot when I say I miss these days, but it was a lot more fun back in the day when people weren't always worried about the top efficient thing to do. You could just go to the duel arena at 7 o'clock at night and just say funning all, no armor, and hop into a fight with somebody with your D-Long or your DDS or whatever you could have, and or your D2 hand. I remember going there with my D2 hander and fighting people, and that was always just a, a weird great time. This era of the duel arena really does remind me of the time that my friends and I all went in on full black G, and we all split up the pieces. I think I had the helmet, if I remember right. And I went to the duel arena because I would always go there just to fight people and have fun. And some low level was like, hey, fighting all levels. Like, And he came up to me. He's like, I'll stake you for, I don't know how much it was. It was for my helmet against something of his. But it was like my 150k helmet to his, like one mil. And so I remember double checking the rules and stuff. And he must have last second switched something. And I could not attack back, and I was just panicking. I'm like, oh no, what am I going to do? My friends are going to hate me. I didn't know what to do. I remember, and I went over to my router, and I unplugged it. Un just unplugged my router mid-fight and went late on the couch. I probably was having a panic attack. I was like 11, 12 years old, just freaking out, laying on my couch. And I, after plugging the router back in and waiting for the internet to come back on, it finally kicked back on and when I logged in I still had the helmet I was so relieved I don't know how I did it must have just x logged mid fight but it was uh that was something real scary and that watching this era of the duel arena really reminds me of that and that was one of the most frightening parts of my RuneScape career that lesson really did help me for the future playing RuneScape because it made me very leery of anything that sounded too good to be true. I remember the people selling those special blueberry special drinks and you'd have one person selling it for like 300k and there'd be a guy like just out of reach saying he's buying it for like 1.5 mils so you'd go buy it for 300k from the one guy and go try to sell it to the other guy but the other guy would be gone by the time you'd buy it from the one guy because they were in on it together and that kind of stuff reminds me of this era too but yeah anyways my friend ryan is the one that was playing back then with that old d scimitar mouse cursor which was the uh you had to have that back when you're playing runescape i think it actually gave you an extra plus one hit i'm just kidding but it felt like it did but yeah he's sitting there funding all no armor free fight fight all there's people saying there's people running around with like berserker helms full rune with battle axes people just main arming g g mauls if you made it this far give the video a like and leave any suggestions below of stuff you'd want me to cover i love going over this old stuff i've been playing the game for over 20 years so it'd be, it's fun to relive some of these memories and tell some old stories so i'll see you next time